Hello everybody, my name is Pokey Mitch, and thank you so much for being here as always. Bit of an exciting video today, um, so obviously as you can see in front of us, uh, we have three uh, sealed Hidden Fates tins, um, a complete art set, which I'm going to be opening for you guys. Um, been sitting on these guys for a long time and I was, you know, I had the debate as to whether I'd keep them sealed or I'd open them or, you know, uh, you know how it goes. Um, but I've decided to open them, um, you know, I thought it'd be a bit, a bit of an exciting video, um, not something you see every day anymore, because, you know, Hidden Fates has gotten quite expensive, um, and, uh, difficult to find, um, it's still kind of accessible, but obviously at a premium, uh, so these tins originally retailed in Australia for $39, I believe, uh, the aftermarket is at $70, $80 per tin now, um, they did have a reprint uh, a couple months ago, I want to say no more than six months ago. They kind of brought the price down a bit, but they've since gone back up, of course. Um, but I was very lucky. Uh, one of my local pop culture stores, um, Let's Go Akamaru, who I will link below, um, were, were kind enough to notify me that they got some in stock. Um, so I jumped on that. I got two art sets, so I'm going to keep one sealed and open one for now. Um, and then I've got a few extra loose tins uh, floating around that I just picked up at my local Kmart. Um, so, yeah, I haven't opened Hidden Fates for a long time, so I'm very excited. Uh, of course, you've got the uh, the Black Shiny Charizard is the biggest chase card in the set. I don't have it, unfortunately. Um, otherwise, my own personal chase cards would be the Evolutions, Sylveon, Leafeon, Glaceon, um, Full Art Shinies. Uh, and of course the Full Art Cynthia. Um, I do have the Cynthia and the Sylveon um, in Japanese from their Shining Legends set. Uh, but, was it Shining Legends? No, Ultra Shiny V. Uh, not Ultra Shiny V. Ugh. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't mind me, I'm just all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's their... Uh, the Ultra Shiny GX, that's the one. Um, yes, I opened a couple boxes of those in Japanese, uh, and I do have the Cynthia and the Sylveon, um, so I'd love to get them in English, and of course the Charizard, I don't have at all in any language. So yeah, I figured it'd be a fun video to open. All right, so I think I'll just open them all up and open the packs together. I'm not gonna worry about, um, you know, what pools I got from what tins, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter like sometimes people like to think that um certain tins are seeded better than others um i don't believe it personally i think it's a bit of a bit of garbage but that's all right people people can think what they want um just like champion's path some people think the uh you know the hatterene boxes might be better seeded than the double or vice versa i've definitely had people say, uh, just like with Champion's Path, uh, um, not Champion's Path, um, Hidden Fates, um, for some reason people think the Raichu I've seen more than anything, uh, tends to get the better pull rates, um, but, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't care, I truly believe that it is 100% random, but that's alright. Alright, so we'll get into this. I believe the second reprint has uh, some different packaging. Yeah, there we go. Um, so you can see here, in the original print run, um, it was just plastic rather than this cardboard. Um, you know, one of those plastic pullouts. But that's pretty interesting. So you, there, there is... I don't know if you can tell... I was going to say, I don't know if you can tell while it's sealed, whether it's first or second print run. Um, but there's probably some sort of... Uh, some sort of date on it or some sort of indicator so you'll know without the need of opening it. Uh, let's try and remove this guy pretty carefully. Um, he, oh, I don't like how they've done that. Okay. I don't like that at all. There's no easy way to pull it rather than uh, other than bending it ever so slightly. Okay. So we've got our Raichu GX. Not too shabby at all. Here is the code card for you guys for the Raichu GX 10. 
Okay. That one should give you the Raichu promo, and I think it might give you some sleeves or a deck box or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, we've got our packs. And that is everything. Close that tin up. There we go. Oh, there's wire in the way. Let me see if I can move that. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. This is exactly what I was talking about. This is the... Surely it's not... I got them at the same time. I would have thought they would all be the uh, original print, but who knows? That's... That's an indicator that it's first print, but... Maybe they mix and match? I... I don't know, that's very bizarre, but I'll take it. Uh, so this one should be much easier, as I believe it's just those uh, two... Where are we? I say that, but should just be able to pop that out. There we go. Much, much easier. So we have our Gyarados GX. There we go. That's the uh, Sun and Moon promo 212. All right, so there's our Gyarados GX tin. Okay. Take our packs out. Yeah, I apologize. I'm a little all over the place at the moment. Um, just can't seem to uh, get everything done quite right. And we have another one. Looks like it might be another first edition. Who knows? Maybe, see, I, I, I kind of, I kept the uh, the best condition tins. Um, there we go. I kept the best condition tins uh, in my sealed collection and opening ones that might have a few like scratches or dents or imperfections or anything like that. Um, so I'm thinking maybe uh, the different editions were related as to whether I got them from Let's Go Akamaru or um, my local Kmart I found some a little while ago, which I still assumed was second print run. Um, but I don't know, it's could, could go either way. Um, but yeah, that's all right. All right, there is our chart. <laughs> <sighs> a few minutes later. All right, I apologize for that commotion. My ring light um, that's just behind the uh, the desk here, uh, mounted to the wall, just collapsed and fell <laughs> collapsed and fell down. As I said, it is not my day today, uh, but that's all right. <laughs> we just got to go with it, you know. Um, as I was saying, uh, this is your code card for the Charizard. Whoever wants to get that one. And of course we have the Charizard promo itself. This guy unfortunately did get a little damaged in the packaging. Um, you can kind of see the curve. Yeah, there it is. It's not quite straight. But that's all right, stick it on a binder. Hopefully it'll flatten itself out. Um, but there we go. So we have our Gyarados, our Charizard, and of course our Raichu. Um, each, um, each tin has four packs, so we have a total of 12 packs here today. And I suppose we'll get uh, get straight into it. Hopefully we don't have any more interruptions or commotions. Um, but yeah, just a bit of excitement, you know? All right, starting off, we have the Dark Charizard pack. I'm a little nervous. Um, as I mentioned, these... Uh, these packs are very expensive, uh, like, sorry, uh, the, uh, the tins, well, the packs, loose packs as well, are very expensive, so, you know, you kind of want to, want to justify opening it, and there's no guarantee that you'll, uh, you know, that it'll be worth your while, but that's right, it's all part of the game, you know, part of the fun. Alright, we have a Psychic Energy, oh, sorry, I can't remember if I gave you the code card or not, there's the Hidden Fates code, Pokemon Center Lady, we have a Cypher, Metapod, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Coughing, Reverse Fairy Energy, very nice. I forgot that Reverse Energies were in this set, actually. And we have Erica's Hospitality Non-Hollow. I will sleeve this guy up because that's not not too bad of a pull. Uh, I do believe in this set that um, 
the shiny cards take up the reverse holo set. Uh, so obviously a shiny would be, pr depending on the shiny, but it would most probably, any shiny would almost most probably be better than a shiny energy. But I would take the shiny energy over a standard reverse holo any day. So, you know what? I'll take it. Can't complain too much with that. All right. Moving on, we have a fire energy. Have a Charmeleon, Misty's Determination, Scyther, Geodude, Eevee, Clefairy, Caterpie, Ekans. We have our first shiny! <laughs> we have a shiny Buzzwall, so it is just a baby shiny. Um, Buzzwall does come in a full art, but oh, I'm not going to complain at all, that is awesome 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 and behind that we have a hollow eevee as well eevee is gorgeous in this set actually um i'll give you guys a better look once i sleeve this guy there we go we have the buzz wall uh they got the a for typically that means ultimate art maybe it's because he comes in a full art um form as well I'm not sure but very very nice very happy with that and we have our hollow eevee which is an awesome card. You've also got uh, Pidgey, Voltorb, and Grimer in the artwork. Alright, two packs in. Very good start. Very happy with that. Alright. Okay. Moving on. There's the code card for you. I'm going to do our four to the front. So that card's a little bit darker than the rest, but that's alright. Alright, we have another Fire Energy. Chansey, Brock's Grit, Scyther, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy. <sighs> we have another shiny. <laughs> We've got Lucario this time. Wow, that is very cool. Lucario is another one that does also have a full art shiny. We're doing well, we're two for three. Wow. And our rare on the back is Blaine's Last Stand. Ooh, already doing infinitely better than I'd hoped for, so that's that's fantastic. Alright, that's Shiny Lucario. Doing well, doing well. My heart's, my heart's pumping a little bit, but... Ugh. Okay. Here is the code card. Definitely let me know if, uh, for those of you that grab any of the codes, uh, what, uh, what's your pool? Very, very interested. Alright. Fairy Energy. We have a Metapod. Giovanni's Exile. This one does come in a full art in this set as well, which is not too bad at all. Uh, and there's also a Team Rocket full art trainer. They're both not worth a, uh, a huge amount, but they're very, very nice full art trainers. Paris. Our reverse is a Cubone, so no shiny in this pack. And our rare is a non-holo golem. That's alright, you definitely can't can't win them all, and I can't complain so far, We're doing very well. Okay. Moving on. I'm not sure what pack number this is, but probably about halfway, probably a little less actually. I think one, two, three, four. Four packs. So yeah, not quite halfway yet. Okay. We've got a Metal Energy. Jinx. Graveler. Farfetch'd. Ekans. Cubone. Magikarp. Geodude. Clefairy. We have a Reverse. Brock's Pewter City Gem, so no shiny. We have a Hollow Vaporeon. It'll go very nice with the Eevee. Get that guy's sleeve. There we go. I believe... That it's just Vaporeon and Eevee. I don't think there's any other evolutions in this set, um, aside from the full art um, Sylveon and uh, Sylveon, Glaceon, Leafeon, I believe. But that's very nice, very good, very uh, very good Hollow that one. Okay, let's fix my chair up. I feel like I've dropped a little bit. Okey-doke. Moving on. Oh, didn't quite want to break the seal that time. There we go. There's our code card. 
All right, we have a lightning energy. A little longer than a few minutes later. I apologize for that. I just lost my face cam. Um, came up with an error telling me to check my memory card and I don't know something about reformatting it. <sighs> I apologize. I just, anything that can go wrong is going wrong in this video. Um, but that's all right. Hopefully, hopefully that means that uh, we'll have better luck when it comes to the pools. Um, so I did notice straight away, uh, so I haven't touched these cards yet, we're still in the same packet. Um, we just had the, uh, the lightning energy there. Alright. Here's to hoping we have no more issues. <laughs> Alright, we got the Pokemon Center Lady. Metapod. Sabrina's Suggestion. Ekans. Coughing. Paris. Cubone. Voltorb. We have a reverse water energy, not bad at all and a non-hollow wheezing for the rare. We're doing pretty well for these energy cards as well, actually. Um, so what, we got two shinies, uh, two hollow rares, and two uh, reverse energies. So we're... pull rate's pretty good so far. I can't complain. I would love a full art of anything, doesn't matter what. But not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Code card there. Alright, so we have a Fairy Energy, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I have the Tapu Lele, so this is perfect. Oh my god. I'm speechless, this is incredible. Oh, and now Rare's a Butterfree. Oh, who cares about that? <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. I said it though, I said that because of everything that's been going on, we have to have some extra luck from these packs. Oh. There we go, we have a Tapu Bulu GX Gold Shiny. That is awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh wow, let's put him right there. If he wants to stand. Ooh, okay, we're doing, doing really well. Really, really well. And we still have, what do we got? Still got five packs left. So we're just a little over halfway. Okay. Ooh. Um, I'm stoked. Um, I think I mentioned it in my, um, one of my Champions Path Elite Trainer Box videos. When you have multiple of something and you're going to keep one sealed and, uh, open one, it's always such a tough choice because you want to hope that the one you seal away to sell or sit on, whatever you're doing, the one you seal away, you want to hope that the pools aren't as good as the one that you're about to open um, and it's the same case with this because I have one art set sealed I'm keeping one art set sealed and opening this one you, you always hope that the one you open has the better pools so it's you know you don't have that worry and I am so glad that I got that guy oh all right we have a water energy misty cerulean city gym magma charmeleon slowpoke we have a pikachu charmander Voltorb, coughing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, I'm just. Oh, what do I. Guys, uh, this is incredible. We have this awesome Lycan Rock GX. Oh my goodness. These packs are uh, coming in clutch. <laughs> I'm, I'm ecstatic. That's four shinies, two of them full arts. I just, I don't know what to say. We still have four packs, so anything's possible at this stage. Oh, wow. Okey doke. 
there is the code card. Hopefully you guys that grab these code cards, hopefully you get something, you know, remotely as good too. Like, if these packs are anything to go by, hopefully those online code cards are just as good. Chansey. Brock's Pewter City Gym. Charmander. Clefairy. Psyduck. Magikarp. Staryu. Reverse Clefairy, so no shiny in this pack, which is a okay. And we have a Hollow Zapdos for the rare. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's interesting because uh, Hidden Fates is a uh, is a holiday set, but um, you're not guaranteed a Hollow Rare at the end, uh, which I think is something that they've made standard now, um, as far as I'm aware. All the holiday sets as of late tend to have uh, guaranteed um, guaranteed hollows. Uh, you know, you've got Dragon Majesty had guaranteed hollows. Champion's Path has guaranteed hollows. Shining Legends had guaranteed hollows. So it's just interesting that um, that uh, this uh, Hidden Fates doesn't. You know, you can get non-hollows. Not sure why, but you know. All right. Just thought that was uh, interesting. Jinx. Ravelar, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans. Guys, I'm... I can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Guys. Oh, what is this? I can't believe this. I don't have Guzma. I forgot he was in this set, to be honest. Guys. If, see if he's, oh, sorry for that. Well, we'll see if I can get this to focus. Looks like it has a little bit of whitening. Nothing too bad. Centering is pretty good. It's a little right heavy. But, oh man, what? What is this? These packs, though. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm... I can't. <laughs> oh, wow. And of course, we have our uh, Mewtwo GX here as well. Because... I guess Full Art Trainers... I didn't realize Full Art Trainers take the shiny spot. I was gonna say, because shinies take the reverse slot, you can still get GXs and uh, standard set Full Arts and whatnot. Um, but I didn't realize uh, Trainers took the shiny spot too, because uh, we, got a sh we got a Full Art Trainer and a GX in the same pack. Um, oh my gosh, guys. Two packs left. Can we, can we get anything else, or is like our luck, you know, has our luck been used at this point? I don't. I don't know, this is nuts, this is nuts. Okay. Just gotta chill out for these last few packs. Alright, there's our code card. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. I can't even hold these cards straight. Alright. We have a Darkness Energy, we have Koga's Trap, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, oh no, no, <laughs> oh man, if I keep pulling pulls you guys are gonna think this is fake. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, what? I, ah, oh, this is too much. The, uh, Nihiligo GX, uh, shiny. And we have a Wigglytuff GX. Man, what is this? What is happening? Pokemon Company, you care to explain what this is? Oh. Alright, last pack. I can't. Okay. Alright. Code card. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, okay. 
Fire Energy, Graveler, Farfetch, Brooks, Pewter City Gym, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Reverse Voltorb, and a non holo Kangaskhan. That's about what I expected, alright? Guys, 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 let me... Let me quickly get this recap ready, this is... I can't even... Alright... Alright, we are... Ready for the recap. Who wants, wants to focus there? Okay. So, the main pools were the uh, Fairy Energy Reverse Hollow, Water Energy Reverse Hollow, we have a Hollow Zapdos, we have the Hollow Eevee, Hollow Vaporeon, we have the Mewtwo GX, we have Wigglytuff GX, moving on to our Shinies, we have the Baby Lucario Shiny, we have the Baby Buzzwall Shiny. We have the Nihiligo GX. We have the Lycanroc GX. We have the Guzma Full Art Trainer. We have the Tapu Bulu Gold. Guys, that's not even including the show. Uh, not even including the uh, Hollows. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's. Eight pulls from twelve packs. I am, I'm speechless. That is insane. Um, you can. The, the reason why it's a little higher, of course, is because you can get GXs with shiny cards. But even still, we have six shiny cards from twelve packs. That's a fifty percent pull rate. That is insane. Well, sorry, Guzma's not technically a shiny, but you know, six. Uh, I don't know what to say. That is nuts. That is nuts, and I'm so glad I caught it on camera because <laughs> that's insane. That's insane. Oh man. And of course, we have our um, promos here in the back. Um, our Raichu, Gyarados, and Charizard GX promos. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for being here, and uh, thank you for so much for putting up with all these. Uh, all these interferences that kept happening, such as my SD card and my light and everything, it was a bit of a mess at the start, but man, these pulls really brought it all back together. But thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.